Hi, I'm Tom from PV, and I'm here to show you the AmpKit Link 2, which is an analog interface for getting your guitar into an iOS device such as an iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone. Now, because it is an analog interface, this can also be used with an Android device, just depending on the Android device itself and the app you're using it with. For this example, I'm going to use it going into an iPad, so I can also show you our award-winning partner app, AmpKit. Now the AmpKit Link 2, what's different with the 2 version? Firstly, we've changed the cosmetics, so it's now black, but we've also improved the overall quality of it, so it feels more sturdy, and we've also improved the quality of the instrument input jack, which not only gives a more satisfying click when you plug it in, but it also actually improves the mid-range frequency response. So how the AmpKit Link works? It plugs into your headphone output here, and then on the device itself, you have a quarter-inch input for your guitar, and a three and a half mil stereo output for your headphones, hi-fi, home theater system, studio monitors, anything you'd normally plug one of these devices into. And what it does, these have an input in here which are not designed for guitar. These are not devices designed for guitars. So the circuitry in here will do some nice clever impedance correction to firstly make sure that the input recognizes the guitar and also that it sounds good. Not only that, but using an analog interface with these sorts of devices incurs a problem with something called crosstalk, which is interference. And that is true of other analog interfaces like this. They do have crosstalk problems. And interference, when paired with high gain or any sort of amp modeling software, can actually cause all sorts of problems with feedback, squeals, screeches, really unpleasant noises. So, AmpKit is different in the fact that we have a crosstalk reduction circuitry in here. The device is actually powered, as you can see by this nice green light in here. It's powered by two AAA devices, and they power this crosstalk reduction circuitry, which significantly reduces the crosstalk, allowing us to use really nice high-gain tones in apps like AmpKit, which is one of the, one of the best-sounding ones out there, actually. And it just allows you to get a really good clear signal coming out so you can use all your different guitar tones. And that is the AmpKit Link. Very, a very simple device with some really unique features. Um, you can take it around with you, have it in your pocket, have it in your bag, plug it into your phone while it's sat on your knee, upload the app and just, just get there and start creating. Now the app itself, as I've already said, sounds fantastic. The great thing about it is the initial app is a free download as well, so you can download it and try it with the AmpKit link. And what you get on the free download is amazing, uh, and then you can actually just buy extra amplifiers. So very quickly, just to run you through it, what we have here is a model of a PV Valve King, and this is the amplifier you get free with it, along with two different cabinet simulations and two different microphones. Here we've got a nice clean tone. We can push the reverb up. We have two pedals here, we have a noise gate and we also have the Elevenizer, which is a green overdrive pedal. And then the amp itself has a lead channel. which for what is essentially just a large phone sounds absolutely fantastic. That's not all you can do with it. We also have a tuner and a metronome in here, which are great tools just on their own right. Um, we have a load of backing tracks, which are preloaded. You can, of course, put your own in there as well, but these are great if you just want to have something where you can have a quick jam, you can load them up. <laughs> and play along with those as well. Now where this really sort of takes off as a very powerful app is it also has recording abilities. And this records at 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz, which is basically CD quality. And you can record in here for as long as you like because these devices have plenty of storage space. And you can record a piece in, you can then 
reload it as a backing track and then play over it again, record an overdub. You can record with a backing track and put ideas down, and like I say, layer ideas up and overdub because you can copy the recordings to the clipboard and paste them back in. But one of the really cool things is you can actually reamp as well, and you can do this on the fly. So for instance, if we just hit record here, If you actually then go to your recordings, you can see your recording there. And we can reamp that by selecting a different setup. But what we can also do is live reamping. And this is really cool because now I can hit start, it'll just play the track back, and I can change the different parameters as it's playing, and it will apply those to the um, eventual WAV file. When you go back to that actual recording, you can even see on the WAV. And that allows you to bring some effects in, add some tactileness to it. One of the modules you can buy is um, a WAR where you can actually use the tilt function of the iPhone to do the actual WAR itself. So you can apply that effect to it and actually have those playing over some backing tracks, have some real tactile effects in there as well. So the amp's very powerful. Like I say, that's a free version. You can go to the gear store and choose from an ever-growing list of amplifiers and actual effects and microphones and bundles, etc. But that's AmpKit the app. And this is AmpKit Link 2, which will get you in there and give you a nice, nice, clean, clear crystal tone with no crosstalk. And that's AmpKit Link 2.